فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روب الخير. Let's talk about football. Football, you have 90 minutes. What do you have to do in 90 minutes? Have you thought of it? You have to be the best footballer possible by trying to score as many goals as you can. Right or wrong? Life is the same or similar where you have 90 years maximum, for example, maybe less. The average Amar between 60 and 70, the average age is between 60 and 70, according to the narration of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So if, for example, we have X amount of time, how many goals can I pack away? That's what I need to think about. Every Salah is a goal. Every Zakah is a goal. Every good deed is a goal. Every bad deed is an own goal. Remember that you foolish to go back to your own net and you kick the ball in and the enemy says, yeah, and it was you. Allah protect us. So this is why my brothers and sisters, Allah gives us sometimes an extra time to score more goals. What happens in football? You have a penalty shootout. You know that extra time becomes more exciting. And this is why every one of us, if Allah has given us age and we become older, we can be more prepared for death than he who dies suddenly at an early age. This is a gift of Allah. So it's sad that we understand how football works, but we don't understand how life itself works. There is a final whistle that shall be blown. It is called a trumpet. Allahu Akbar. It is called a trumpet so much so that Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said the angel who has been tasked with blowing the trumpet has already got that trumpet and already almost prepared to blow into it. Almost prepared to blow into it. It's holding. He's holding it and he's already taken that breath required to blow into it. And now we are just in this existence. Amazing, amazing description. But at the same time, my brothers and sisters, how many good deeds can I pack away today before the end of today? Will I read my Salah? Will I do so happily? Will I be truthful? Will I help others? Will I assist people in that which is good? Will I contribute towards the upliftment of society? Will I help prepare the generations to come so that they can lead a better life? So that they can become closer to their maker? Am I going to be a person who's just sitting and enjoying myself with entertainment come Friday evening and I say yes why because Friday Saturday Sunday I'm partying that's the world today the world talks of partying you know that every Friday every Saturday Sunday so much so that Monday morning we are so lazy to go to work or to school it's the worst day of the week Monday morning everybody complains go and search on the social network the dunya complains of Monday morning. Why? Because they've been partying every, the whole weekend, every weekend, and that's their life. You earn for five days in order to blow the money through the other three days. Five plus three is eight. You don't even realize they're only seven days in the week. Thought of that? Because Friday already we have switched off. We're preparing for it. You know, you go to work early morning on a Friday and we're planning the other two days. So Friday was a waste anyway. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. My brothers and sisters, that's not what life is. If you're a good Muslim, how can you reduce your life to entertainment alone? Yes, you may want to enjoy yourself within the limits once in a while and you take your family, you spend time with your family, but you need to know the greatest enjoyment is achieved by obeying the instruction of your maker.